actually. One, I can't believe that I've been at the Olympics. Two, that it's nearly finished. And I think the only disappointing thing I've got from the Olympics is that we didn't actually manage to get that win on the board. I think we played so well. We had so many close games. That the Spanish game, which I think you saw, was just absolutely fantastic. All of us battled, and in the fourth quarter, I saw their faces change, and I thought, oh my God, we're actually going to do this, and everything's coming together. If there'd been another two minutes, I think we'd have won that game, which then would have obviously got us into the semi-finals. Um, but then we had close games against Russia, so I think the next thing for us to learn is just how to actually get that win. So at the minute we're sort of losing by one and we just need to change that even to get even. And I think once we've done it once or twice, we'll just be on a, on a roll then. I think literally it's going to be the... We used to have it with fr France a long time ago where sort of like we never sort of would beat them uh, for like three or four years. They'd always been like 5-4, they'd always beat us. And then one day we beat them and it's never we've never looked back on it. We've always then been stronger. So I think we just need... Um, it's great where we've got to because before, if you'd have said to me two years ago, you'll come to the Olympics and have these score results. I've probably been like, yeah, that's brilliant, let's take it. And then obviously as an athlete, you get greedy for success, don't you? Which is why we're all athletes and have kept going for so long. But no, I think it's just one of them where I'm hoping that once we get this first win against one of the top teams, that should help the Kickstarters and it should go from there. Definitely. I think we've had some, like you said, good results. Obviously beating Germany earlier this year at the Europeans, but I think that was more determination and hard work, like in the water than actual sort of like, a really good game but I think our Spanish game and the Russian games we've literally probably played some of the best pole we've ever played which was our commitment to ourselves was to come here do ourselves proud and actually you know do the best we can in a game and I think we've done that so if you've played your best then what more can you ask for? It's, it's really exciting actually um, Chloe, Frankie and Kira are going to a Spanish team which is fab given the Spanish have just won a silver medal so they're hoping that obviously there's a bit more money injected into the Spanish league, which will help our girls as well. Uh, Rosie, our goalkeeper, and Angie, the other centre forward, are off to France uh, to go to Nice, so that'll be a really nice time. <laughs> uh, a few are going to Hungary, Hazel and our third goalie Jade are off to Hungary, and then I think a few others as well are still sorting things out. So I think it's only going to develop us and like mature us as a team, because we've been together at the High Performance Centre now for five, six years as a group working really hard for this. And so I think it's one thing that can only like strengthen our game is going away, playing with different uh, people, training with different people, different coaches. So it can just make us sort of like more round athletes, rounded athletes, sorry. Um, and I'm hoping that that'll bring us uh, back together as a stronger team. Um, well, that's been, I've never been so proud and like I've been with the best group of girls you could ever wish for to be in a team with. And I couldn't have done it, you know, without them. I think it's just because I've got a big, big mouth. Um, and are quite bossy so I've been captain for a long time. To be honest I don't really know, I'm sort of living literally like by the day at the minute but um, we've got a debrief with our coach later so we'll have a chat. Just need to find out what the programme is because obviously we're hoping that like the legacy of this, we don't want Polo to stop, we need it to continue and we just hope that obviously our funding is confirmed so we can keep going because we don't want to lose the momentum we've got. It'll be a shame to have to have nine months out whilst waiting for funding and things to fit into place. So I'm hoping that continues and then once that's all decided, I can make my future life decisions.